Hello, I am Dr. Matthew Abraham. I am a senior uh, neurologist at the Astor Med City. Uh, today I would like to introduce the topic of Parkinson's disease. This is a problem that has been known since uh, biblical times and it is named after Dr. James Parkinson who first described the symptoms uh, exactly 200 years ago. The problem in Parkinson's is of course tremor and difficulty with movement and a rigidity. These are the clinical symptoms of it and it is recognizable in many patients. Nothing was known about this disease and the cause of it till the early 50s when a treatment for the disease was accidentally detected by a Canadian neurosurgeon called Cooper who during the course of surgery accidentally tied off a, a, a cut a blood vessel. When he tied it Subsequently, he found that a patient with Parkinson's had an improvement of tremor. So for a certain period of time, uh, the treatment of Parkinson's was with the surgical treatment till the discovery of the drug Sindopa in the early 60s. That was of course revolutionary because by then it had been detected that the root cause of Parkinson's was a deficiency of the neurotransmitter in the brain called dopamine. So dopamine was artificially substituted and these patients made a dramatic improvement in many of the symptoms and it remains the mainstay of treatment even now after 50 years of its discovery. But new developments in the understanding of Parkinson's have led to newer methods of treatment both in the form of new drugs as well as in the new surgical techniques and this is the latest in the development of treatment and this is what is known as deep brain stimulation. It has been found that certain nuclei in the brain, certain areas of the brain result uh, lead to stimulation of those areas lead to uh, improvement of the production of dopamine or reduction of certain chemicals which are responsible for creating the problem. So the old treatment of Dr. Cooper in the 50s which was surgically done is now being replicated in the form of specific electrodes which are placed in certain parts of the brain and these act as pacemakers to either increase or block the production of some of these neurotransmitters restoring the old balance. So when you have a patient who has been on Sindopa for quite some time and over a period of time begins to lose the effect of Sindopa, then these newer methods of treatment in the form of deep brain stimulation or DBS offers new life to these patients and an extension of good quality of life. The doses of Sindopa would have to be modified downwards and in some cases can even be reduced substantially. So this is what is new in the treatment of uh, uh, Parkinson's disease and this is a facility uh, that is available now at Asta with the entire team of uh, specialists, neurologists and neurosurgeons who can do this surgery successfully.